All right, guys, what's going on? I hope everybody's out there staying high speed and motivated, accomplishing your goals, whatever they may be. Got the Ranger flag up today, which means we're gonna be talking about Ranger School, and specifically, we're gonna be going over some breaking news in concern to the RPA 2.0. And this is kind of underground news that I was able to procure through my own underground channels. I'm not gonna go too far into the weeds of what those underground channels might be because I don't wanna burn the opportunity for future updates in the future. I also don't wanna get anybody in trouble, namely the person that actually gave me these updates. Even though they 110% assured me that it was okay to relay this information to you guys out there. I'm more of a play it safe kind of guy and I am definitely not a blue falcon. But anyway, so I'm gonna try to keep this video as short and sweet as possible for you guys so as not to waste any of your precious time out there. I know the RP 2.0 or the new Ranger School PT test has been a point of concern for you guys out there and gals out there for the last few months. Those of you that are training up for and looking to go to Ranger School in the near future are probably wondering what sort of PT test should I really be training for? And if you're watching this video and it happens to be the first time that you even heard about the RPA 2.0, that's okay. I'll give you a quick roll up real quick and then I'll drop the big news on you. So just a few months ago, I want to say September 2023, and I'm making this video in December of 2023. ARTB announced that they were looking at implementing a new PT test during RAP week to get you into Ranger School, and they were going to be calling it the RPA 2.0. Backing off from the traditional RPFT, which was the minimum 49 push-ups, 59 sit-ups, 5-mile run in 40 minutes or less, and then 6 dead hang chin-ups, they've now implemented a completely new test that is really more combat and endurance oriented. Here's a quick one-slider from ARTB of what the RPA 2.0 is intended to look like. Now you can see here with the RPA 2.0 that it is a six event test and it's supposed to be done back to back for time. And back when they originally set up this test, they were looking at implementing a time of 27 minutes or less to finish. And again, these events are gonna be done back to back. So you'll start off with a one mile run. You'll then conduct six chin-ups, six dead hang chin-ups, a 100 meter 40 pound kettlebell carry, moving straight into a 100 meter IMT, individual movement techniques, 100 meters of 185 pound Skedco drag, and then you'll top it all off with a two mile run. And again, I said that was supposed to be done in 27 minutes or less now. I did do a video where I actually put myself through this PT test to see if I could actually get it done in that standard, and I did, but I only did it with about, what, 30, 30 to 40 seconds to spare. So it's a very hard test, okay? That standard is, very difficult, and I already had word from before that they're already looking at either making the time standard a little longer or making some of these events a little shorter, so to give you a little bit more wiggle room there. I would definitely recommend watching that video. It's a good video to give you an idea of what the test actually looks like and how to train for it. Um, I'll drop a link to that video in the description. I'll also put a card right here. So that's what the RPA 2.0 is, or at least what it roughly is gonna be once they finally do approve it and start implementing it. Now that's what the big news is all about. When ARTB first started talking about implementing this test, they wanted to get it done no later than the beginning of fiscal year 2024, which would have been October 2023. Almost immediately, uh, that got extended, and they started talking about getting it dropped no later than January of 2024, so the calendar year. And we have been paying very close attention to this. Um, you know, like I said before, I'm making this video right now. It's December, mid-December 2023, and as far as we knew, the RPA 2.0 was supposed to start being implemented in two weeks. And knowing what I know about army bureaucracy and uh, how long it can take to get anything done most of the time, I was pretty hesitant to believe that there was gonna be such a, a big change to a standard of the Army's premier leadership school that would take place in just a few months time. I wouldn't say it would be impossible to accomplish such a goal, but definitely would want to see it before I believe it. And it turns out my gut feeling was correct on that one. The big news here today, guys, is that I have gotten word through unofficial channels, but somebody who is officially affiliated with Ranger School has told me this. And I'm gonna read a snippet of this verbatim for you guys so that you're tracking exactly the message that I received, or at least a portion of it that's important for this video. Due to certain circumstances with Congress about the ACFT, the RPA 2.0, which was scheduled to begin class 0424, is put on hold till the dust settles. So as far as we were told, it could be up to about a year or so until it comes back out, but all the work and trials were done for it to be implemented. It's just put on the shelf for now for the foreseeable future. Hope that information helps, as little as it is, 
hang 10. So hopefully guys, if you're somebody that's looking to go to ranger school within the next year to year and a half, uh, that helps you rest a little easier. And I told you this is sort of like an unconventional communication method that I got this information from. However, I definitely believe what this person is saying. Um, first of all, because of the affiliation they have with ranger school in the first place, that was enough for me. And second of all, we already know that Congress has kind of been tossing back and forth the ideas on what they want to do with the ACFT. And because now recently with the compromise that just came out in regard to the NDAA that talked about what the new standard was gonna be for the ACFT. The Army now has 365 days to implement more stringent, more difficult minimum standards for combat MOSs across the board. More than likely, the Army is gonna take if not the entire year to do that, very close to the entire year. And if the RPA 2.0 hinges on what that standard looks like, they will have to wait until that standard is briefed and approved by Congress. Again, that's looking like at least 365 days, a whole year. And they might have something lined up, but they have to wait for the approval for Congress on that brief before they actually go forward and implement an entire new standard based on that approval. And that 365 days doesn't even begin until the president actually signs the NDAA. So as of today, that one year benchmark hasn't even started yet. So you can see how this process starts to get really lengthy and uh, why it starts to sort of drag out over time, all right? That's kind of why army bureaucracy, it always seems like it takes so long to get things done. And that's just because there's so many different steps and so many different stamps that you have to get for approval before you can even move on to the next thing. And it looks like that's what the big hang up is for the new RPA 2.0. It really is hinging on the new standards that are going to be coming out with the ACFT. And those standards won't be released for somewhere around 365 days. So again, long story short, guys, I wouldn't stress too hard about the RPA 2.0 right now. It's really not your problem. That sounds like a future problem to me. So as of today, sounds like just keep training hard for how you've been traditionally training. Keep training hard for that RPFT. That is the Ranger Standard. If you're looking for a fitness program to help you get ready for Ranger School, we have the very best Ranger School fitness program available out there. We've had hundreds of guys and gals be successful at Ranger School using that program. It really is the best program you're going to find. I will drop that program in the description for you. I'll also put a card right here for you. Go check that out after this video. Although it doesn't seem like it's something we need to worry about in the near future, we're definitely going to continue to monitor and update you guys with the news as often as possible in regard to the RPA 2.0 because we don't want you guys getting caught off guard. I'll especially continue to monitor my underground resources and if you guys are watching this video and you have resources of your own or if you want to become part of the uh, underground news network that feeds the information to me so that I can push it back out to the masses, please by all means reach out to me to give me any information you might have and you can do so on my Instagram which is gritty.soldier.fitness or you can even send us an email at contact at grittysoldier.com. If you guys have any other information that you want to share with the community or you just want to talk about this, please don't hesitate to drop that in the comments. Or if you guys have any additional questions that you might want to ask me about this, go ahead and drop that in the comments. I do read the comments, so don't hesitate to do so. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That really does help push this video out to a more broad audience so that more people can actually see this content and, and be informed by it. And definitely share this video if you know somebody that is thinking about or planning to go to Ranger School. This is really good information that they need to know, okay? So please do that. Don't be a blue falcon. All right, guys. So I hope that news was useful to you. I hope you can sleep easier at night now. Stay motivated, keep working hard, stay dedicated, and you're gonna get to that school and you're gonna crush it, all right? You're gonna walk away with your tab. Just keep up that mentality. Besides that, it's time for me to go get my workout in for the day. I've got nothing else for you and I'll see you on the next one.